Good morning. I'm the Reverend Stephanie Fox with St. George's Episcopal Church, and I want to extend a warm welcome to you this morning. Please know at St. George's, all are welcome, and we'd love to see you real soon. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Bartimaeus, the blind beggar, is sitting on the roadside when he hears that Jesus is walking by. He had heard of Jesus, the teacher, the healer. Bartimaeus, the blind beggar, has hope and faith and courage. And Bartimaeus knew in his heart that Jesus was the Messiah. So Jesus cries out, so Bartimaeus cries out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The crowd tries to silence him and tells him to be quiet. But Bartimaeus is persistent and cries even louder, as loud as his voice can shout, have mercy on me. Jesus heard Bartimaeus' cry and Jesus stood still. Jesus stood still and told the crowd, call him here. The crowd who just moments ago were trying to shut Bartimaeus up, listen to Jesus and call out to Bartimaeus. Take heart, get up, he is calling you. Bartimaeus was so excited so filled with joy, so filled with hope that he threw off his cloak, his only possession to the ground. The cloak that kept him warm at night, the cloak that provided shade from the hot sun during the day, <clears throat> the cloak that provided shelter from the rain, and the cloak that collected coins that people would drop as they walked by. He threw off his cloak and sprang up and came to Jesus. He sprang up full of life, full of energy. Bartimaeus leaps up and makes his way through the crowd and stands before Jesus. Then Jesus asks Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? This is the best day of Bartimaeus' life. Jesus, the Messiah, sees him, calls him, and speaks to him. Even though Bartimaeus is dirty and smells bad, even though he is the lowest of the low in society, Jesus sees him and asks him, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus asks, he doesn't assume he knows what Bartimaeus wants or needs, even though Jesus probably already knows the answer. Jesus wants to hear what Bartimaeus really wants. Bartimaeus answers, my teacher, let me see again. Then Jesus says to him, go, your faith has made you well. Immediately Bartimaeus gains his sight and follows Jesus on the way. The story of Bartimaeus is rich on so many levels. Bartimaeus is a wonderful example of discipleship, but also a model of prayer. Bartimaeus seeks Jesus. He cries out to Jesus for mercy, and he is persistent. Sometimes I think we need to be persistent in our prayers. And Bartimaeus doesn't listen to the crowd. As soon as the crowd tells Bartimaeus that Jesus is calling him, he springs up with joy and hope and goes to Jesus as fast as he can. Bartimaeus takes action to draw closer to Christ. Then Bartimaeus has the courage to ask Jesus for what he really wants. He asks Jesus for the one thing that will transform his life. He doesn't put limits on Jesus. He doesn't ask for power or fortune. He doesn't say, I'm not worthy. 
he asks Jesus, let me see again. And his sight is immediately restored. I can almost imagine Bartimaeus, this man who was blind and used to sitting by the side of the road all day, jumping up and down with excitement and joy because he could see again. It was a miracle. At this point, Bartimaeus could have done anything. He could have gazed at the sky. He could have run home to see the face of his mother. But instead, Bartimaeus immediately follows Jesus on the way. This is a story of redemption, transformation, healing, trust, and discipleship. Even though Bartimaeus was blind, he could see that Jesus was the Messiah. Jesus' disciples were still struggling with this. The crowd did not understand this either, but Bartimaeus did. The most humble person among them all was the one who understood Jesus the best. And Bartimaeus didn't let anything hold him back. He was persistent in calling out to Jesus. He threw off his cloak and immediately followed Jesus, unlike the rich man who walked away from Jesus when Jesus asked him to sell his possessions and give the money to the poor. Nothing would stand in Bartimaeus's way in his way of following Jesus. I think Bartimaeus also teaches us that it's never too late to hope. It doesn't matter what other people think or say about you. It matters what God says about you. It matters what God is calling you to do. It matters that you step out toward Jesus with hope, with joy, with expectancy. It matters that you speak up and make your needs known. You shout if you have to, but you get honest with God. You have the courage to tell God what you really want and need to do in your life. What do you want me to do for you? If Jesus were standing here right now in front of you and asked you that question, what do you want me to do for you? How would you answer? Would you ask for mercy or forgiveness? Would you ask Jesus for healing for yourself, for a loved one, or for the world? Would you ask that a child or a friend find their way back to church and back to God? Or would you ask that the church would grow and have more members? Or ask that the church was blessed with plenty of money to fulfill its mission? These are all wonderful prayers. But what would happen if, like Bartimaeus, we first asked to see Jesus? To have the blinders taken off our eyes and our hearts so we can truly see Jesus? We can see how much Jesus loves each of us. We can see what God is calling us to do. We can have a new vision for our lives and the church and the world. We can see the face of Christ in each person that we meet. We can see the world through the eyes of God. We can see Jesus and love Jesus. And we can see the path to follow him today and every day. And we don't have to do it alone. We get to do it in a wonderful community full of love and encouragement. What do you want me to do for you today? Open our eyes, Lord. We want to see Jesus, to reach out and touch him and say that we love him. Open our ears, Lord, and help us to listen. Open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Amen. May God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit 
be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. God bless you, and we hope to see you real soon.